guys, what's going on? Spartarosh here. In this video, we'll be checking out what I believe is the first ever tablet laptop hybrid. Released in August 2010, the Toshiba Libretto was quite a weird computer. For example, instead of having a keyboard and a screen, the Toshiba Libretto just had two screens. This meant that the bottom display was occupied by a virtual trackpad and a virtual keyboard. This meant that if you wanted to get any typing done, it was almost impossible, as the keyboard was exceptionally bad. On the subject of bad, listen to how loud these fans are when the computer is doing nothing. And when it's actually doing something, it's even worse. The Toshiba Libretto was really not even that powerful either. It only had an Intel Pentium and 2GB of RAM. So even the oldest games at the lowest settings never ran that well. The laptop also lacked a lot of ports, only having a headphone jack, a USB port, a power input, and a microSD card slot. The design of the Libretto allowed it to be sat down flat so you could use it more like a tablet. Storage-wise, the Libretto only had about 50GB. The battery on the Libretto was massive and weighed quite a bit. So if you took it out of the laptop, it would make it considerably lighter. Overall, the Libretto was quite a weird laptop. It didn't really excel at anything in particular. It couldn't game, video edit, or anything like that. But to give it credit, it was a very different laptop to what was around at the time, and a very interesting device. If you think this wasn't the first ever tablet laptop hybrid, make sure you leave a comment below giving me a link to what the first one really was. As always, thanks for watching my video, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, as you have no idea how much it helps me out. And if you're interested, make sure you also check out some of my other videos.